Well, let's go to Leanne Cusack now, who's with Steve Barkhouse. Uh, we're talking about rentals, lighting. <laughs> All of those I things. Know. But I know. <laughs> not after that forecast. Steve's yeah. really disappointed he didn't bring heat lamps. Uh, <laughs> Yes, we have a reno to share and yeah. tips on how to light up your life or at least your home. Steve uh, Barkos will share trends today. And I said lumens, but really it's fixtures, just right? fixtures, yeah. But having just changed over pot lights and really investigated the lumens, that yeah. makes a big difference, too. Oh, a huge too. difference. Yeah, the warmth or the bright, yeah, you can really uh, get any area you want, whatever type of light you want. So we're going to speak about these fixtures in our next segment, but you are wanting to share a renovation and yeah. upfront because people are always saying, Leanne, ask how much it was. This is a $203,000 renovation and it's, uh, it shows. So we have before and afters. We love yeah. the before and after. Who doesn't love a makeover? Well, exactly, and this one's spectacular. Um, it, it's a lot of fun, so why don't we dive right in? This, so there's our before, so it's a century-old home in Wellington West, but it's, uh, this was an addition that was put onto the back of the house. There was a deck on the other side of that wall that wasn't used, and the room was just really small. It didn't suit uh, And those the look house. like beautiful high ceilings, which I guess yeah. give you opportunity for Well, you'll elegance. see. Whoa. Look at that. Speaking of ceilings, um, so where the posts are, we bumped that. That's where the wall was, so we opened it up. Uh, covering the deck, so a much bigger, more functional space. Put a dining room in there, a living area, but the ceiling we talked about is a dark ceiling. So really a bold ceiling that you can get away with because there are 21 um, slimline LED pot lights in there that keep it open and bright. So you can go for something a little more bold and still keep it so bright. So complete drama. Now yes. I have to ask you, are those wonderful p posts, the burn board beams, yeah. or the burn beams, are they structural or decorative? Uh, they're both. Okay. <laughs> so they, yeah, we probably could have gotten rid of them, but we wanted something just to uh, delineate the spaces. So it, it delineates the dining room again with a fixture in there that really makes it pop and, and adds elegance. And you say, and we'll focus on the next uh, area. So this is kind of everyone says, oh, that's my kitchen, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? It's a century-old home, so it had been redone. The kitchen, but it's dark. The sinks in the corner. It's not near the window. It, it's not terribly functional, um, and the lighting was terrible. Whoa. So we've got the ambiance light with the pot lights. Again. Again, we kept the dark ceiling coming right through, but we also have some task lighting, um, which we have from the pendant lights over the sink, and we have some under counter light above the stove so that in those work areas it's well lit up. And all open. All open, How yeah, you can see it flow right through. How many lights again? How many? 21, only 21. Wow. But beautiful. Yeah. Now, next, a different uh, angle, and this actually looks brighter because we're, you know, Different angle, yes, but you can see the sink's not near the window, so that's the old kitchen, so we, we changed that over, and the next one shows um, a fantastic pantry on the right-hand side, so a cabinet pantry, which is great, um, but you can see the different types of lighting again. So we've got the island, the two-step island, so a, a pull-up island where you can sit, or a workstation with the task lighting with the pendants, above the sink with the pendants, and then you can see the accent lighting in the uh, glass corner unit there that features, uh, or showcases the feature dish or, or art piece. So this is a whole uh, renovation of the whole first floor. Correct. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. And then this is, there's the island again, but just a different side. So you see the pantry again. And there was an old, we'll see it in the next shot, an old cabinet that was built into the wall. So we kept that nook. And we have a coffee cocktail bar, uh, which is a hobby of the homeowners, uh, which is fantastic. But again, the pendant lights above. So there's that unit. That what used, time would they like us over? Well, exactly. <laughs> I think it's open all the time. Uh, but that wall came out. That was the dining room. Uh, we took that wall out, and that's where the coffee and cocktail bar went in. Um, so you can see it there again. And then the dining room, again, delineated by the posts, but it's got that focal um, chandelier hanging above it that really gives it that luxurious focal point for and a dining room. This is where you'd like to offer a tip. You say you shouldn't have many, many focal points. You should have a few focal points. But I, I do have to say the the uh, rustic feel is mm. exquisite in this. Isn't design. it nice? Love yeah. It. And, and it doesn't overpower the room because of the openness. Front entry, this was part of the addition. They wanted a, an entry. Uh, our clients said, no, we want to take the focus away from the entrance. We want to change that up. We don't want the focus to be the entrance. So what we did is we just took the railing out and put a wall. So we have a feature wall with feature art. And then we have that accent light that really highlights it. So when you come in, that's what you see. And then we added a small little bump out, which is always a fun idea, um, and put a granite top on it. And there, when you're having a party, people can put their drinks or a plate of food. Um, it, it's wonderful. I'm a firm believer you always need a horizontal service to collect some clutter. Absolutely. <laughs> Keys, phones, whatever it might we be. We are going to be back and we'll speak about these fixtures, some trends, but trends that aren't just trendy trends, they'll be enduring for you. Thanks, Steve, Matt.